In this movie I'm going to show how to install Joomla in Windows 8. Since most of us uh, have been using Joomla in Windows XP or Vista or Windows 7, since Windows 8 is very recently released I thought it may be a good idea to share knowledge to everyone who is looking for upgrading the Joomla to Windows 8 operating system. So in order to do that let's go to Windows 8 first. I have installed Windows 8 in a virtual environment in a virtual machine out here. Now once you come to Windows 8 uh, start screen you must go to desktop first okay so let's go to the desktop by clicking on this icon okay now first thing in a Joomla installation is that you should download something called as a XAMPP software okay basically XAMPP is something that contains uh, things like your Apache server your IIS server and MySQL database alright so to do that you should go to a website that is called as apachefriends.org okay that's the website so click on that and now scroll down so that's the XM so click on this link now and here it's uh, listing down a couple of flavors of XM for say Linux Windows or Mac operating system but currently we are interested only for Windows so click on this link now and now in order to download out here you've got a link out here called as source forge okay so click on that link and that's what will lead us to this page to download it so as you could see this is the place to download XM for Windows so click on that link and instead of going into each of these folder I can simply click on the top that contains the latest version of XM so click on that so it will download the latest version of XM on my desktop okay so look now it's downloading it on Windows 8 OS so it's usually it's pretty fast okay it takes around two to three minutes to download so while that's getting downloading we need to download another software that is nothing but the Joomla content management system software itself so to download the Joomla software you need to go to a website called as joomla.org so go there and now simply hit on this button called as download and then scroll down let's download the latest Joomla so download Joomla 3.0 okay so as you could see the Joomla 3.0 is also getting downloaded if you, if you see out there in the bottom it's usually very fast but before you install Joomla you must install XAMPP okay so as you could see now it's approximately three minutes left for XAMPP to get downloaded whereas Joomla is just downloaded okay alright so by this time XAMPP has been downloaded as you could see in the bottom it's a Windows EXE file so all you have to do it is simply click on this one and it will install XAMPP in your machine so I've just clicked on that and this has come up to asking for the permissions so I simply hit the yes button out here and then I'll simply follow the prompts okay so let me just minimize this one alright and click on OK and simply follow by hitting the next button okay again next and it, it wants to install this as a service so let's do that and simply hit the install button and as you would see it will install XAMPP it takes probably a half a minute to one minute to install all these things it's very fast as you could see it also depends on 
your computer configuration that how fast is the processor and how much RAM you're having that also decides the performance of an installation so in this case this computer is pretty fast in itself with a fast processor so as you could see it's quite fast perhaps another 20 seconds to go almost done alright so this is complete now as you could see now there are no errors simply hit on the finish button now in the bottom so it's doing final checking it's asking for some access and I will simply go and hit okay I'll simply go and give allow access to this one okay so now what I have I have got the XAMP installed out here and whether my services are running or not this control panel will tell you whether my batch is running or not, whether my SQL is running or not, or FileZilla FTP service is running or not. So all of them are running. You can confirm that by going to your website uh, or going to your browser, I should say, and open a new tab and simply type localhost here and see what happens. Look, XAMP has come and click on English. So by this it confirms that XAMP has been successfully installed. So the next step is installation of Joomla itself so what you need to do it is you need to install or you need to extract this um, zip file at a place um, where you want to start creating your website okay that place has to be in XAMP folder so go to C prompt XAMP folder okay this folder is created by default by the XAMP installer uh, within that go to a folder called as htdocs okay uh, within this folder in htdocs create a folder which is the name of your website okay so in my case I will simply create a folder just for demonstration purposes as FOT okay just as FOT I say FOT is my website name alright now once I do this all you have to do it is simply go back to your downloaded one let's do one thing the downloads you can also see it from this folder download so there is your downloaded a uh, Joomla file okay so click on this one right click and then you can click on extract all and then it will ask you for place here where you want to extract it so choose browse and browse to the same folder which we just created so go to C drive XAMP htdocs FOT simply click on OK now and hit the extract button and then it will extract the entire folder contents into the newly created FOT folder okay so by that what will happen is it will complete the Joomla installation so the next step what we will do after this is we will quickly install the Joomla database okay and we will also install sample data for Joomla for our practice it's pretty fast and look this is a new thing that you can see in Windows 8 now this this GUI like a graph showing what's going on it wasn't there in Windows 7 so this is pretty cool is it is it not Excellent. So that's all done now. 
Now the next thing that you have to do it is go to go back to your browser now and to test whether the installation has been successful go to this browser now open another tab and type localhost slash fot okay by that um, what should happen is it should bring a splash screen asking us for Joomla installation so as you could see the installation of Joomla was successful that's the reason we are able to reach this place now it's asking us to give us the website name so I will give my website name as fot.com any description optional any uh, whether the site is offline or not so no need of that now because it's already in local computer admin email so I say my name kapir.khan at fot.com just a dummy one okay give admin username password say password is welcome and again password welcome all right once you're done with all these mandatory field which is um, indicated with the star button out here go to the top hit the next button and then database configuration so leave the default side as it is in the username you should give the username as root that's the default username you should give it okay now once you're done give optionally any database uh, name so I say my database name is FOT okay and finally hit on the next button now and install sample data whether you want to install sample data or not yes I want to install some sample data I say what kind of sample data it is say some English blog and and as you could see it is now listed down everything whatever you have given in the previous screens and if you could see the latest Joomla 3.0 GUI is different from Joomla 2.5 so all these are new things and hit on the install button now so what it will do it will install the sample database and then it will also remove the temporary directory it has used for installation okay so hit on this remove installation folder so that will remove the installation directory uh, once you're done with that you can simply click on site button here or alternatively you can simply go on the top of your browser out here and simply type localhost FOT to see your website look that's your website which you just created if you want to see the back end of your website you can simply click on this button administrator which will take you to the back end of this website okay so that's how you basically go about installing Joomla in Windows 8